juice. The Belly H1G Cobra is an American Rank 58.0 BR Flying Freedom Distributor. That is proof that most chopper pilots have fucking brain damage. This chopper was designed because idiot Americans couldn't land on the beach at resort without getting raped by VCs. So Bell took the same engine setup from the UH-1 and the basic design of the Suscat, and mated them together into one sexy helicopter gunship to destroy NVA libtards. The Cobra had a long lifespan from Vietnam. Granada in the first Gulf War, when it was retired by the US Army, but a dummy thick version remains in use with the Marines to this day. So, how does it play in this bullshit Russian computer game? In terms of maneuverability, it's generally good news. The Cobra has a T-53L11 turboshaft engine with 1100 horsepower that gets it up to a good speed of around 160 miles per hour with a full loadout, and unlike the average American it can turn quite well too. However like a true Republican voter it is extremely reluctant to change direction, since it either has a weird bug making it return to its previous path, or a bad engineer needs to be shot. In addition to this is the crap climb rate when fully loaded as without engine upgrades you sometimes literally can't take off from airfields, meaning you have to fire off rockets to get your obese ass off the strip, but at least you aren't morbidly obese like other hellas, but like other hellas remember that turning loses your momentum very quickly. So the speed is good with some caveats. What about the actual construction? I could have said on a butt that would have been a fucking joke just like the Cobra's crew protection. Your two fast food workers get 20 mil of Kevlar to protect them from every gun on the enemy team. And unsurprisingly this does not do much. As such you are not some totally bullshit hind that can shrug off Afghan bullets like they shrug off war crimes. So your main aim is to use your nimble profile to not get shot in the first place, and your good speed to get out of there, so it's fast, and with poor armor, so you know what this means. The AH-1 has many payload options and two main mounting points. Firstly we will discuss the M28 turret mounted under the gunner. This swivelly boy has two options comprising two M1347.62 mm mini guns that fire a ridiculous amount of rounds a minute into M1294 mil grenade launchers with around 76 mil of pen, all controlled by Tyrone the flying meat shield for the pilot. Oh and by the way it's total bullshit that we don't get the option for both. The second mounting point is under the wings, where you get many options such as two more mini guns, one massive 20mm cannon and most importantly the Hydra rocket with 290mm of pep. These can be taken together and it may be sensible to pick the small guns if aircraft are everywhere, however most times the 76 Hydras will obliterate everything possible. Now I'm itching to talk about using these, so how do you actually play the DACA machine? To start. Make sure you have the quarter pound launchers installed and press go, then select 76 rockets and tell anything else to fuck itself in the true American way, and don't forget to select the nearest helipad or you will take goddamn years getting there. You are a hellcat with added flight, so you have two options. The actual way to play is to not let enemies see you as you sneak to the side of the map, around 1 kilometer away, and snipe them with the accurate Hydra rockets where they can't hit you back with enough accuracy, then return to restock and repeat. However this depends on one or two tanks not spotting you which never happens, so instead you can unlock the patriotic freedom delivering made in Mexico manliness option. However there is a fine line between bravely charging the Japanese on Iwo Jima and the Japanese ramming their fucking planes into US carriers, so to be manly you must approach from either the side or behind. Taking out anti-air vehicles is a first priority, and hitting large groups of targets next. Light wheelie boys can be dealt with with the 40mm and most tanks can be disabled from their roofs this way, but you must be careful. If your manliness is executed correctly, you will receive fire within 10 seconds. But if you have failed it will be instant. When two or more rapid machine guns open up, get out of there like the military gets out of the Middle East, quickly and with no regard for anyone you're supporting. Additionally beware the trap, 
that the 14 ills create, as it's incredibly tempting to circle tanks above their guns and rain down liberty, and your speed will be so low, that tanks will turn their main guns on you and obliterate you, and finally the forties have a weaker shell arc than Bernie's support with black voters, so either use them at close range or aim higher than 30%, I mean degrees, now you know how to fly this flying second amendment, what do you upgrade? Firstly take the compressor since you're lazier than Jose the Mexican plumber and a flak jacket to protect you from his cartel. Followed by more Dakar and even more Dakar after that. Once you have your god given rights as an American, get the engine upgrades for your mobility scooter and night vision 200 if New Yorkers going to bars. And once you have done these you must train your two meat bags in the pilot and co-pilot seats. For both Tyrone and Jackson do it the third. Take vitality to build a wall of cheeseburgers between you and MG42s, followed by keen vision and awareness, to see communist anti airs using big government to destroy you. Once you have made sure that Tyrone has brushed up on his AR-15 skills in the hood, you may do whatever the fuck you please. By following these simple steps you will find that this is the correct way to play the AH-1G Cobra. Now go out there, and make Canada the 51st state. Don't do it! I'm a virgin! Fuck! Fuck! Fuck!